In this problem, we're told on a planet far away, an astronaut picks up a rock. The rock has a mass of 5 kilograms, and on this particular planet, its weight is 40 newtons. If the astronaut exerts an upward force of 46.2 newtons on the rock, what is its acceleration? Right, so the first thing you always want to do is, uh, is draw what's going on. So we have this astronaut, right? They're holding this rock. And so the weight of the rock is going to be 40 newtons, which means that there's going to be a 40 newton force going downwards, right? Downwards on the rock because the weight pulls it down. And then there's going to be a 46.2 newton force that's exerted upward because uh, the astronaut is going to be picking it up. And we know the mass of the rock is going to be equal to 5 kilograms, right? So that's basically uh, what we know. And so what we're trying to do is solve for the acceleration. So we want to find the acceleration. And the way we're going to do that is by using Newton's second law, which tells us that force is equal to mass times acceleration, right? So we have the mass of the rock, which is 5 kilograms, and we want to find acceleration. So the only thing we have left is force. So when we say force equals mass times acceleration, what we mean is the sum of the forces in one direction, in this case we're going to be talking about the y direction, is equal to ma, because force equals mass times acceleration. So what we need to do is add up the forces that are in the y direction. In this case, it's going to be 46.2 and 40, right? So we got to add them up. So we're just going to say ma and then equals the forces. So basically, when a force goes up, we label it positive, And when a force goes down, it's negative. So what we want to do is add them up. So 46.2 is upwards, so it's positive, And then minus 40 because it's downwards. So essentially, the sum of the forces in the y direction are going to be equal to 46.2 minus 40. This is just going to be 6.2. And so if we plug in the mass, the mass is 5. So 5 times a is equal to 6.2. And then you can divide by 5 to solve for a. So if you do this 6.2 divided by 5, you're going to get 1.24. So the acceleration is going to be 1.24. And then the units for acceleration, when you do, uh, this was newtons divided by kilograms. Uh, newtons over kilograms is just meters per second squared, right? So acceleration is going to be 1.24 meters per second squared. So yeah, that's uh, going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.